How's it going everyone? It's Juan Romero here from Switchwatch. Hope you're all having a good week. Why does this always ring when I'm in the middle of a review? It's just typical. Hello, Juan speaking. Hey Juan, it's Jordan here. How's it going? How you doing, Jordan? Uh, I just uploaded my review of Umihara. I don't know if you've seen it or not. Yep. Uh, anyways, I'm free now. What do we got? I know May's going to be really busy. We've got like Resident Evil, Team Sonic Racing, Saints Row. Give me something good, boy. Well, why don't you do Panty Party? I'm sure our viewers would love to see that. Cheers. Right, sorry about that, guys. Make sure you watch Panty Party, because Jordan will be reviewing that one, and I'm sure he's going to really enjoy that. Now, where were we? Yes, Duck Game. So, Duck Game, will you take to this like a duck to water, or is this a dead duck? Are we quackers for this, or is it a poultry release? Okay, okay, enough of that. When the team went quack, quack, quack. Okay, I'm done. Let's get into the review. Now, this is a frantic foul four-player quactation. That's not my fault. Those are the words of the developer. In this futuristic year of 84, hang on, we're in 2019. Moving on. The duck run amok by trying to win the crowds over by shooting your friends with all manner of weapons. From saxophones, shotguns, ray guns, you name it. It's probably here along with your favourite hat. I'll come on to those in a minute. Now, this is one of the most simple and easy games you'll ever have to pick up and understand. And let me be clear, it's one of the most fun games you'll ever play as long as you can get a group of friends together locally, online, where you can set up your own rooms or wait for it and battle anyone you want in the world of online. That's what I'm talking about. So often we see these party games and it's missing some essential ingredients, but not here. Now, did I tell you about those hats? We'll come on to those in a bit. Think of this like uh, Smash Bros. That's what I compare it to a little bit, where all the players are on screen, jumping around, controlling a duck, and the ducks have nothing on them at the beginning. And the one that is fast enough to pick up a weapon and gun down the other ducks with a one-shoot kill will, of course, get a number of kills. The one with the highest number of kills at the end of the round will win and each round will contain a number of differing levels for which to pit your wits against against your friends. Now these can last from sort of five seconds up to 30 seconds and not long at all but because there's quite a few it does last long enough and what makes this so damn addictive is how easy it is to pick up and how simple and tight those controls are. You can pick up grenades and lob them a little bit like worms in a way although here it's not turn by turn. This is a real live massacre. What makes it fun though is the insane amount of variation in the levels and weapons. Some levels are really tiny, some are large, some have no guns at all but stupid toy guns instead that can't really do any damage and others will have musical instruments but there is always a way to, to murder your fellow duck and bear in mind it is that one shot game. On one level I saw a chainsaw and even though there were guns lying around I picked that up, fired it up and went all Scarface on my fellow ducks. Man was that funny. I didn't even see my mate pick up a rocket launcher at one point and he just fired a rocket straight at me and I was a roasted duck. I didn't even have time to move and this is the stuff that happens and even when you lose you just can't help but laugh at the insanity of it all. You can fall off the edge and die and while you can flap your wings you will go to your doom. You can accidentally blow yourself up by holding a grenade and taking the pin out and it's duck for dinner. Yes all of these things have happened to me, I've even set myself on fire. And the most satisfying thing though is just taking out your mates in all manner of ways. It makes for a sensationally good time. Crack out some beers, get some snacks going and it's a great laugh. Maneuvering around the levels is as simple as any 2D platformer you have played. But you can also slide under obstructions which makes for some real nice bullet dodges. Other items change things up like jetpacks, helmets, body armour, allowing you to take an extra hit before getting quacked. So onto those hats and the quack button. Yes, you can quack by pressing a button. That's the only real level of communication within the game. And it's quite funny. Unfortunately, there isn't a chat client. There's nothing like a nice little quack when you kill a duck. Hats are solely to distinguish your duck from the rest. And even though the ducks are different colors, it is great to choose a hat. The drunk hat was one of my favorites. Did I mention there's also a level editor? You can share your levels online with a whole community and you can use these levels as well to play on. It's not really my thing. I'm a player, not a maker, but I know lots of you would love this. There is a challenge mode also for those of you that want to play solo, but this isn't really one to buy if you're just looking at a solo game. It's fun enough, but I found these to be more of a tutorial. The audio in this game is surprisingly good. I felt really pumped. So good is the initial soundtrack that carries through in the game. And the sound effects is what makes it really funny with the quacks, the weapons are really quacked up, sorry. And when one of the players from Switchwatch Team Lee started playing the drums, I was like, what is going on here? It's great fun. James was an absolute 
beast on this game by the way and uh, he just got so many kills I need to up my skill level in terms of visuals they're simple it's all really that's needed here I'm going to give it a bit of a pass because while they're not the prettiest I've ever seen they serve a purpose and everything is depicted well enough overall it's the fun factor which really obliterates anything else there's lots of little hats to collect and unlock as well, as well as toys. In terms of value then, the game's $12.99 or £11.69. This is a game you have to go into knowing that it is really a party game only and one that you'll get the best out of playing with others. How long it will last you really depends on how much you like killing your friends. I could have played this for hours, days on end, but unfortunately I have other games to review, which is a bloody shame. In terms of my verdict, well, I'm just going to say this is one of the best quacking games on Switch without a doubt. And if you're looking for the ultimate party game, then look no further. Based on the fun factor alone, it will cater for all of your needs, whether it's local play, online play with friends, especially or randoms. And the fact it's so simple to set up a game leaves me no doubt everyone who likes these types of games should give this a try. As I say, it's an easy pick up and play for five minutes or five hours on end. It had us in hysterics in the Switch Watch team and it's really, really fun. So it really hit home that games don't have to be ridiculously complex to be fun. This is what gaming is all about and why I love it so much. It's a ducking good time and a must have a nine out of 10. If you enjoyed this review, guys and girls, leave me a like, I'd really appreciate that. And subscribe if you're a new watcher here for reviews like this one in the future. Make sure you hit that bell notification so we can notify you when our reviews go live. I wanna hear your comments down below. Have you played this game before? Were you waiting for it on the Nintendo Switch? Is it something that you're gonna double dip with? Really appreciate you watching. Thanks for your time. My name's Juan Romero from Switch Watch, and I'll see you again on the next one. Take care.